Hi everyone, welcome to a new series about pre-processing EEG data in Brain Vision Analyzer. Um, in this series I will explain the final step of pre-processing, which is exporting your data. Um, I always export my data into SPSS, um, and there's different ways of exporting your data and different types of data and um, also different ways of exporting. So um, in this first video, I will give an introduction of all the different uh, types of exports there are and which to use for what um, kind of data. Um, and then I will uh, spend several videos on the types of exports. Um, and finally, the final video will be about how to import your data once you have exported it, um, import it to SPSS. Okay, so for export, everything is happening here in Brain Vision Analyzer in the export button. So um, I will mainly focus on these two, the area export and the peak export. That's already one uh, type of uh, differentiation of, your, uh, of the way you want to export. Um, and whether you want to do area or peak really depends on your data. Um, and then uh, whether you want to do area export also depends on the type of data you want to export. So for EEG work, for instance, for ERP, you usually want to export um, peaks, like here you want to uh, export some peak information and you want to export um, information from uh, the, free, uh, the, sorry, the time domain. So if you are working more with ERP data, you usually want to export uh, time domain data. Whereas when you're working with frequency, for instance, you want to export alpha frequency or the power of a certain uh, condition, you are exporting in the uh, frequency or the, um, yeah, the frequency domain. So that's um, kind of like four different things. So you have the peak and the area and you have the frequency domain and the time domain. Um, they can overlap, so you can have an area export of um, of the time domain or an area export of the uh, frequency domain and you can also detect peaks um, when you are doing ERP work in peaks in the time domain um, and usually you don't really do peak export uh, when you're working in frequency domain. Um, so let's start with the area information. So area export is um, when you want to export um, in the time domain. So I have that here to give you an example, so this is an ERP um, as response to uh, a neutral uh, picture. So this is data from four-year-old children, um, and this was uh, published in two uh, papers already, so I will um, put those links below, um, so you can have that as a reference. Um, but what you see here is the LPP, the late positive potential to neutral sound, a uh, neutral uh, picture, and what you see is the, uh, a big deflection here, and then this is the the LPP, the late positive potential that is just like responding very long to, um, to uh, the picture. And what you see here is that it's more like a wave. Um, it's not really a peak. We have some kind of a peak here and then you have a big waveform. If you have the big waveforms, it's always better to use the area export. Um, area export means that within a certain time window, so maybe from uh, 300 to uh, 700 for instance, you want to know the micro voltage below this uh, area. Um, you can have the mean area or you can have um, the overall uh, voltage below this area. Um, so that is area export. And then when you want to do peak export, you really want to detect peaks. So this also requires one extra step where you first want to um, have the peak being detected. And then around the peak, you can either um, just export the height of the peak, so kind of like the, the amplitude or the microvolt of the peak. And you with peak export, you get one extra value. You not only get the amplitude or the um, microvoltage of the peak, but you can now also have the latency of the peak, which means where in time is uh, the peak the highest. So for this, it will probably have detected the peak over here, and then you can see that it's around like 450 milliseconds. Um, so for peak export, you get latency and amplitude. For area export, you get the amplitude uh, or the micro voltage below the area. For peak export, though, you also need to select an area because you need to select an area in which a brain vision analyzer will detect your peak. So you do have to know where kind of your peak will be 
and then for every participant it will detect the peak and then in peak export you can say whether you want um, um, only the value of exactly the peak where the peak is but again you can also do so some kind of combination where you do a um, uh, area export around the peak so then for every individual you have the area in a different uh, place maybe you can say i want to have the area export around the peak uh, maybe 50 milliseconds before and 50 milliseconds after the peak and that's where your area is so all your time windows are 100 milliseconds but it depends on where the peak is where you want to export it however peak can only be done if you have a peak and a lot of infant data and a lot of uh, also young children data does not have peaks. This is four-year-old data and you can already see that it's not a very pronounced, uh, pronounced peak. Um, and this is what you see in babies even more. So babies usually only have waveforms and therefore area export or area information is used much more in baby research. Um, then the frequency domain. Um, so if you want to do the frequency domain, you are usually doing area export and what you do then you're not um, working in, um, in the ERP window, you're more working in your um, frequency domain um, plot where you have all the frequency plotted um, and where you want to um, export a certain frequency band. So instead of exporting um, within a certain time window, you're now exporting within a certain frequency window. And then you can uh, export the power of that specific frequency band. Um, but that's usually also area export. Okay, so in my next video, I will explain more about the area export, the peak export, and for a time domain and frequency domain separate.